That's good. The question is, why did I need to come in here? And also, that's green sludge on the ground. probably the code. Professor, these are biometric journals of Dr. J. Pet Peters, MSc, PhD. Completed between the dates of 30th March 1969 and 1st January 1972 at the Northwestern Research Station within the Northwestern Iron Mine. With the permission of Delta Mining Corp. Application of selected extracts left at the disposal of mine foreman. Subject to study. Genus. That word. I'm not going to try to pronounce <laughs> Commonly Grey Rockmore. Aim to investigate the abnormal presence of the caddis in the Greenland Rock method collection of samples, if indeed they can be identified correctly. Standard series of testing, observation, and dissection. Personal notes. Upon arrival at the mining facility, I was immediately stunned by the sheer volume of fauna that finds a way of life down here. Despite the conditions in general, one would assume the species whose natural habitat is past a certain depth would find the intrusion of human activity too great a threat to remain in place. However, almost the exact opposite seems to be the case in, the, in this instance. It is curious that certain areas of the mine appear to be entirely without life of any kind, and yet other deeper areas are teeming and were a situation permitting, I would embrace the opportunity to commit further time to the study of the organisms. However, the purpose of my stay here shall continue to be the genus, that name. Me. Ah, oh, finally, some writing paper. Look at me, just using up the pages to scroll down whatever comes to my head, ha. Huh? What is this stuff anyway? Some kind of research paper? No matter. It's a paper all the same. I can finally record what's been happening down here for, I suppose, about a year. Must be near the end of 2001 by now, huh? I wonder when Christmas was. No matter. Too tired to write. We'll rest a little first. Samples collected. The collection process has been far easier than I anticipated. Hold on. Let me, uh, turn off that so I don't waste them on just wasting battery. They are all of healthy size, perhaps even beyond recorded size, and I can only assume that this is due to some lack of natural predators down here. Specimens are as follows, three adults in artificial habitat, two larval infants dead. Okay. I've been down here two days now. Was meaning to record events every day, but was too busy Securing the area, I've used some supplies from an old mining system to wall myself in here. It seems as safe as a place as any, so those things should at least stay put for a little while. To that end, it seems I've had a pretty lucky stumbling here. All this old research is about something similar to what's been hunting me ever since I escaped the shelter four days ago. Don't get me wrong, after what after what they did to me back there, I'd rather be facing anything else. And after almost a year of fighting for our lives, we didn't really stand a chance anyway. Don't know how many are left inside. This is good. These notes might have some way to fight the things, the rockworms that followed me here. I don't know how they knew I was coming or how they managed to follow me in the dark, but maybe I can work out that now. Found some old newspaper clippings, I guess. They're referring to this mine. I had no idea it was so old, so big. I can see now why they built that facility here in the first place. A lot of history buried down here. It worries me, though. We've been resting all of our hopes of rescue on this one of the scientists who escaped right near the start of it all got out almost as the chaos began, so we figured he might have made out and brought help, but maybe me and him are due to the same fate. This record has been going on and give the world the answers it needs so it doesn't fall prey to what's been released down here. But first, I need to worry about myself, find a way out of here, and work out how to kill these warm things. Professor, observations. The creatures are indeed larger than has previously been recorded. The juveniles seem to still be growing far beyond their natural limits, although the adults are 
have now expired, I will watch to see what the lifespan is of this particular subspecies. The worms appear to have three senses. I would be validated by previous research, taste, smell, and an extremely sensitive sense of touch, which allows them to detect vibrations in the rock in the same way the human eye senses beams of light and processes them into spatial images. Their natural prey is instincts smaller than themselves, as insects smaller than themselves, and haven't helped those insects because the worm is a vicious and efficient killer. He's wrong. They have no sense of smell. Today I attempted to distract them with a concoction I found lying around but to no avail. However, it does seem that they detect movement via vibrations, which would explain how they can see in the dark. Damn, there's almost no way to escape them down here. I'm, I'm on their territory now. Lifespan is three days and counting. I can still hear them outside the wall. As an extra precaution, I've locked myself in the smaller study area, connected to the main lab room. If they get through that wall, I doubt this door will stop them, but it's better than nothing. Barely. Conclusions. This subspecies of genus worm is highly adapted for its environment. If released above the surface, it seems likely that it would quickly destroy the existing rock worm population, and soon after that, the population would grow to a size far outstripping its own food supplies. Given its increase in size and lifespan already due to unknown conditions, I will hypothesize that the worm, if less likely conditions for a reasonable period of time, for 4,000 years, could grow of up to a further 3 inches, making it a total of almost 1 foot long. However, should these conditions change, or indeed magnify, physical evolution could occur far more rapidly. It's the fifth day today, and I swear they have begun to surround my location. I can't tell whether or not they have breached the wall I built, but I'm certain they've entered whatever area surrounds this room. The future lock looks increasingly bleak. I intend to record here the events of the past year and hope that perhaps what occurred could be contained or driven away. Now I realize I could write all I wanted. No one will ever make it down here to read it. So why write this now? Good question. I have no answer. All I do know is I'd rather take my own life than die at the jaws of those hideous monsters. I've tied a noose. Those monsters may feed on my corpse, but they won't take my life. That wasn't helpful. I mean, it gave me an, an idea what these things are, but... Something broke this room not too long ago. There's blood and slime everywhere. Maybe I shouldn't be signing a light down that way. I thought I was going to get a passcode in here. There's writing code everywhere. It must be an ultraviolet ink. Definitely the product of a deranged mind. But who's... With UV light, there's some text showing up with a blank sheet of paper. Storage password, 1371. Um, while you hunt for those delicate, uh, melt-in-your-mouth mousy morsels, there are places you should not go, for, for fear of death. The Reaper lives here, just like you and I. And just like you and I, he must ingest the living flesh of those less fortunate than him. There is a small place that I do not want you to visit even on your holidays, because it is dark and even place that I've been. When the darkness has overwhelmed my small decaying mind, some bad things have flowed from my mind and through my pen. The brilliant blue ink itself seemed to turn to blood and to my grace. And by the way, should you turn peckish, red is at its finest sautéed with a little engine oil. <laughs> It's getting crazier and crazier. Okay, so now I need to get back to section C. I forgot the password. <laughs> Hold on. Let me go. Yeah, I know. They couldn't have programmed just to have the protagonist remember the password. Okay, so this sentence is going to run all the way back to this room.
One three seven one. Okay. Come on, Duggo. Come on, Duggo. Just wait on you to get to section C. Oh. And I one three seven three. I think that was it. One three seven three. One three seven three. One three seven three. One three seven three. Okay, one three seven one. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Oh great. This is section C. He was saying something about chemical storage, so we probably need to get the chemical storage. The is becoming rather uncomfortable here. How far away are you? You cannot be far. I am held captive by a wall of stone in the northeast of the mine. As in any drama, there are many roles to be played. You must act the scientist in mixing potions, act the renegade in plots of destruction. On your travels for the tools with which you will fashion my rescue, you may discover the place of my last meal. Be careful. The shiny, solid floor of water is not as solid as it seems. Poor Red was almost swallowed whole. The two foolsing men who plummeted into my domain have long since departed, though not I expect from whence they came. I ate ravenously of biped meat that day, uh, but Red promises feasting only began when the men became pungent. When the stench of life had gone, and only the sweet aroma of decay remained. Okay, I only got a couple pieces of information from that. That Red is getting hungry, which, from everything, it sounds like he's a cannibal, which means I'm probably his meal. Uh, and there's a shiny pool of water that is not as solid as it seems. Okay, so... Incinerator. Like, Uduquao? Chemical storages, two chemical storages. There's also two ways back into section B. Okay, so... Let's go check out, like, Udaquao first. That's probably the water he was referring to. It's not as solid as it seems. Can 
medical storage is always in our map right here. There's a doggo right there. What's your where are you going? You're heading that way? What does the map look like? So it's just a giant ring. I need to go straight down the lake. Gonna stay right there. Or are you gonna come back? You're coming back. Okay, that was my chance. Now it's not my chance. <laughs> as soon as it moves again, I'm gonna start moving. Okay. I want to see what this dead end is before I go actually to the lake. Whatever Lake Udukwau is. I'm kind of concerned just by there being a lake in a some kind of reservoir. Okay, so this is just a dead end. Hi, boy. Lake Udukwak. Wow. Just a uh, giant tunnel. It really is just a giant lake. There's a carbon copy of me inside the artifact, except there's more than one. And they're not very good copies. <laughs> you want to bet this is pointless, but yeah, I don't think I can go out there. So this is just like a little save room? That's all this is? Last time I thought something was just a save room, it had a very important use, the, and I couldn't figure it out. So, like, it's just a bunch of trial and error. Um, so I'm a little bit hesitant, thinking there's no way to get out there. Other shit? No. Well, no. there's literally nothing in here other than just the ice that it breaks as soon as I walk on top of it at the safe point, so. Finally, it's something younger than me. Maybe this pack will help me figure out what's going on down here. Last will and testament of Joe Freeman. Final thoughts 10 10 2000. 
I, Joe Freeman, would like to leave all my personal belongings to my sister, May, in the knowledge that she will distribute them wisely. We always used to say, better to die young than to never live at all. I guess we're going to get our wish. I know enough about survival to realize I won't be, re I won't be surviving much longer. Jono, my buddy, I just don't know. My left leg is broken in three places, and I suspect I may also have shattered my pelvic bone. Three hours ago, after we set up camp, Jono set off to find some usable timber for the fire. When he got back, he was very excited. I couldn't work out what it was that had gotten so agitated, but I went along with it all the same. I should have recognized the sign. Soon after he got worse, he jumped me when I turned away, burying my face in the snow, trying to suffocate me. I still don't know what he found in the ice to enrage him so. Lucky for me, the ground gave way and we both fell. I landed hard on ice and desperately clawed my way onto more solid ground. I was running on adrenaline, didn't notice the pain, just knew that if I was going to die, I didn't want to be in the frozen water beneath me. When you fall into a frozen lake, you don't just drown or freeze to death. Your whole body seizes up from the cold. Every instinct tells you to swim to the side, but your body won't let you. You gradually dip under the surface, your last breath expelled when you fell. But you don't drown there, and then your body shuts everything down, survives on what strength you have left. You can last for an hour just floating there, slowly, slowly dying. That's a great image. <laughs> so now, I'm lying here, my soaked body slowly freezing me in place. Me on one side of the lake, Jono trapped on the other. I'm worried about him from what I can see from this, this side. His arm is dislocated, his shoulder blade fractured, and his wrist broken. I can't hear anything he yells, but he looked to be constantly muttering to himself, testing the ice with a crowbar from his pack. I don't know how he can stand the pain or where his strength is coming from, but at any rate, something strange happened to him. Fortunately for me, he can't cross the ice. It gave way. Uh, it'll give, give way under his weight. The only way to cross would be to carefully spread your weight evenly across the surface, and he looks too much in a rush for that. There's a lot of drugs in my system right now. I have another bottle of painkillers, or is enough to finish the job. I always said I'd rather die pushing the boundaries than drift away in my sleep. I guess I didn't mean that after all. I'd rather gently slip away than die cold or bleeding. Okay, so there is something on the other side of the lake. Probably something on that John O's body that I need to gather. I'm guessing I'm probably looking for some way to get across the ice. kind of curious what the other section B is, so if we can go up, over, uh, up and over, go over to the other section B and see what it's all about.
Or is a way to dispose of them. Okay. I'm so lost now. We go down and then up and then down. Okay. It's stuck. A small gap gives me... Wait. I... door to the incinerator is stuck with the right tool might be able to get it open. Okay. I bet you it's none of the ones I currently have, is it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, what's the next set? Um... I guess chemical storage. Go back down. Oh, there's two doors to chemical storage. Of course. It's locked from the other side. I'm trying to see if there's a... ...room that I can take care of this doggo at. Doesn't look like it. Okay, this door opens at least. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a chase.
mind can barely imagine the feats of action men like heroics you must be performing to save old Red. I am waiting so close now for you to blow down the walls of my earthbound prison cell and release me from this mortal coil. I have a... I feel like that's going up faster than it was whenever the worm was still chasing me. It's a carbon copy of me and the artifact, except that there's more than one. And they're not very good. I've already said that before. Oh, I got a chemical leveled chemical A. Okay. Chemical F. Chemical B. Chemical E. Layers. Chemical D. everything in here, right? The note. Magnesium, calcium, barium, chlorine, phosphorus, sodium. Do not forget. Badly administered dopamine clouds frequently everything. Like the worst. <laughs> okay. B, D, E. I'm missing C. There's a... Aha, see, there we go, okay. All six chemicals accounted for. What was that note say again? B A D C F E. B A D C F E. So B A. Wait, so if I can't just mix them in inventory, where do I go and mix them? There has to be some place I go to. Mix them 
mix them together. I'm just not sure. Where that would be. Do I just do it on the door? Wait a minute. I remember back in the previous section there was a submit mixer. Do I do 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 I need to go back there and do it in that? Remember it said like it's Okay, that can't go back. So that ruins that plan. There is some piece of machinery over here as well. I can go see if that piece of machinery is what I'm looking for. We can also see if we can lure this doggo over here. Yeah, that's too far away for the guy.
Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And now you're going to be part of it. <laughs> Did you need something or are you just being funny? No. Yes. I'm not entirely sure what I need to do with these chemicals or how to mix them. Let's just go try it on the door. I'm so confused. Magnesium, calcium, barium, chloride, phosphorus, sodium. And then BAD, CFE. B, A, D, C, CFE.
Let me go look in the chemical storage again. Maybe there was something I missed in there. No like mixers or beakers anywhere or anything like that. Does not look like it. Now I'm gonna go try another theory. I think what I need to mix it is located in the infirmary, or not the, uh, not the infirmary, the, uh, incinerator. But to get to the incinerator, I need to figure out a way to open it up. And I think the tool that I need to open it up is probably on that guy's body on the other, on the other side of that lake. And for that, I need to figure out a way to get across the ice. I know that note said that I ha have to... spread my body evenly and I'm wondering if crouching across it instead of walking across it will make any difference there is a save point right here so it's not going to be losing much progress if it doesn't work Okay, that doesn't work. What if I... There's two barrels here. What if I throw these in the water and use them as stepping stones?
Go, Barrel, go. I might have been onto something there. What? <laughs> that was not fun. I guess this is a ridiculously time jumping puzzle. Back here? No. I don't have the strength. Okay. That's lovely. You just saw the handoff. Okay. question is, can I get back over without dying? Nope. Oh, it's saved right here. Thank you, game, for actually being kind for once. Okay. Okay, I made it. I figured that out. That was ridiculous. That took way too long. I got the crowbar, which means I can probably use the crowbar to pry open. Gotta wait for this guy to pass, because I don't have a door to run into on the other side. You can use that 
crowbar to pry open the door to the incinerator. It's better work. Cool. Where are you, my shiny knight? Have you really made it this far? I wait and wait, and yet the pot never boils. I remain trapped in my den of iniquity. Perhaps the gods have toyed with me once more. Sentence me to yet more years in this place of eternal nightlight. But now, maybe my ill advice has ended you. Have you rung death's doorbell? Please don't leave poor Ren all alone once more, like all the others. This is the most inadequate walkway. Potion mixer with the explosives book being the guide. Okay. Oh, okay. Game expects me to take some damage. I have had more painkillers now in my inventory than I've ever had in the entire game. Cool. Red phosphorus and barium. Uh, red phosphorus and barium is to make the. Um. So barium goes first, then phosphorus. Barium's higher up. It'd be A, B, C. So C is barium. A, B, C, D, E. E is phosphorus. So barium. So A, so D. Right. No, C then D. C then E. C then E. Oh. See? I need, I need a gas supply before I can light the burner. And I... Yeah, I turned it on. Uh 
Oh. Okay. C. And E. Okay, that did not work. <laughs> um. Oh, wait a second. C, then E. C, then E. have barium though, right? Yeah. Wait a second, hold on. What if... Three? So what if it would be D? D, F. What if it, what if it would be D, F? Yeah, okay, that was it. Cool, 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 cool. Now I have to jump puzzle my way holding this explosive mixture. Oh, this is gonna be nice. Or did I just dump one too many times? I wonder if there's like a limit to the amount of times I can jump or if it's like if it hits something. Or if it's on a time limit. Okay, that was that was just that was comedic right there. Oh, I think I'm moving too fast. Let me test this.
no. Why did... Okay. I was right there. I was right there. Now do I need to... Oh, I see. Red, I'm here. Please don't eat me. Sure. Oh, that needs a lever to open it. Locked. This is not going to end well.
I mean... I don't think there's anything else I can do, is there? I tried. <laughs> that's one that's one strong door. cut the power, I might be able to save Red and not have to kill him. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure how I would cut the power. Well, let's, uh... Let's press the incinerator button.
I tried. I tried to figure out a different way to do it. see red now sitting here guiding me I probably wouldn't be standing here now if it wasn't for him I had to let me might have to leave me go alone my dearest friend how are you I am as well as can be expected I have some sad news though a few days ago there was some kind of collapse and some of the ceiling of the cave fell in on me what scares me is that I was an awful miss part of the mine this they may not look for me here but if they do and they find me I'm in so much trouble but I don't think I'll have to worry about that because I'm not sure I'll be getting out of here. I don't mind so much. I've been working in the mine for about three weeks now, and I'm really proud that I can send money home. But it's a pretty tough work, and so far you're the only person that's really been nice to me. Plus, I have some nice company down here. There's some friendly, kind of creepy crawlies and some books I brought from home that I was taking to the rec room. If you think about it, I was really quite lucky I had all the stuff with me, otherwise I'd be bored stiff. As it is, I have Shakespeare, Bronte, a name I can't pronounce, perfect bedtime reading. Although I suppose I might be trapped here long enough that I have to read them twice. I always used to ask my mom how long people survive without food and things. I read how some people can survive underwater for over five minutes and some people last in the desert for weeks. But she always said you had three minutes of air, three days of water, etc. I suppose I'll probably find out soon enough. I guess if I had to, I could find food around the place. Like I said, there are all sorts of creatures here. But they're better off as my friends than my lunch. I wonder whether I shall starve to death or go crazy first. Neither. Sounds too much fun, I guess. But I had, if I had to choose, I'd say I want to go mad. This sounds like an adventure. Tom Redwood. Red. Proper mine worker, December 1970. Age 14. He's been here since 1970? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. The chains on his arms are visible now. Not there out of choice. Father looks on aghast. He clutches some notes, shaking hands, he knows. He knows what has come, what the man has released, the only one who could stop it. Howard knows the real fear. Never seen another one of these things. I don't know. I don't like them. At the same time, I know that I'm leaving part of myself behind each time I go near them. Can I just leave it here? Hi. Lovely. That's creepy. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to even comment on that. Electricity. Why does the electricity panel look like a face? 
Okay. Electricity is cut to the door. As I stepped into the mouth of the underground facility, there should have been questions, fears, doubts running through me. Instead, I was torn in two. Part of me, I felt, had died, along with my only ally and friend. His final words had raised more questions than they'd answered. And I couldn't get his scream for help out of my head, despite knowing deep down that the pain I had caused Red was itself all the help I could have offered him. I was alone again, but I had nothing to do other than press on into the unknown. If I... I'd felt so bad about Red, I should have listened to him and stayed where I was. I would trade his fate a hundred times for my own. The other side of me was looking forward to what might await me in my continued journey. I felt sure that I would soon find some clue or other to my father's fate, and that he was inextricably linked to everything that was happening. I also couldn't help but suspect that everything I had seen up until that point was just a s symptomatic of whatever lay beyond the threshold. I know now I was right. Welcome to the shelter. Established 1973, elevated cast 4, chief staff 6, lower cast 39, temporary 8, total population of 57. Key members, chief overseer, Wilbur Frisk, a bunch of other names. Last updated 1802-2000. Please have your ident identity documents ready. Why is that just laying on the ground in front of the door? Hi. Do I even want to walk? you um my flashlight doesn't work I can use this to push forward, I guess. This is terrifying. Oh, my night vision goes away whenever I grab it. There's like a door like right there. I could probably, once I get to the door, I could probably. I don't even see him anymore. It's locked. It's locked. Great. With that, the man who first descended into the mine was no more, and so began my next chapter. To be continued. Well,
That was not the ending I was expecting. Um... <laughs> So obviously the three Penumbra games are all linked together, and so a bunch of the story is left unanswered at the moment, because I have yet to play the other two games. I kind of get why it's called Overture, because it's basically a introduction to how we got into the situation that we got into. With the situation being the next two games, that is what ever that entails, who knows. But we went looking to figure out what happened to our father, and stumbled into a mess of nightmares, honestly, from World War Two or one was it be one? No, it'd be World War Two. World War Two bunkers to mines to a research facility I guess is the final one we were in but there's something going on under the ground in Greenland and unfortunately it seems like someone got the jump on us Uh, I guess we'll have to see what is going to happen next. But thank you all for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the first series of Penumbra. And I will definitely be starting the second one, Penumbra Black Plague. So I will see you on the next one. Good hunting.